They were supposed to be celebrating the most important game in team history. Instead, they stood in despair. Chapecoense fans, family members, club personnel, many wondering what's next after nearly the entire team was wiped out. People sang the football club's anthem one last time. Adriano de Jesus, one of the team's physical therapists, lost his brother, Serginho, in the crash. I lost my brother, my partner, so going back to the team is going to be very difficult without him there. But I know if he was alive, he would want me to continue with the team. This was the last communication between the pilot and the control tower. After those words, the plane lost all communications. It's believed the heavy rain, low clouds and poor visibility made the situation worse and delayed the rescue operations. The bodies of the dead will be returning to Brazil on Thursday and Friday. A collective funeral has been planned in the city that gave the team its name, Chapeco. Goalkeeper Nivaldo had been injured, so he was not on board the flight to Medellin. We live in a city with 250,000 people who love football, who love the team. I think that the people who were in that plane would want us to move forward. Brazilian first division clubs have offered to lend players to Chapecoense while it rebuilds. Many fans here told us that for them Chapecoense was not only a team, it was like family. And they've come here to the stadium to bid farewell to the players who in their hearts will always be champions. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera, Chapeco, Brazil.